Hello everyone and welcome to another video and this one is going to talk about the legendary weapons that are in Guild Wars 2. Now for those of you that are unaware legendary weapons are the highest stats in the game. They're also a weapon that has some unique effects that many other weapons are, are unable to or don't uh, provide. The, um, these weapons are the most highest, uh, the highest worth items in the game. So, as you can see in my character here, this is my legendary, it's the Bifrost. Uh, and what you notice about the Bifrost is it creates, uh, first of all it gives you an aura, a nice little colourful aura around my character. Uh, and it also gives footsteps, uh, footprints. In With most legendaries they give uh, coloured foot, uh, footprints, be it flame or be it uh, sort of... Uh, different effects, you know, uh, the kudzu has sort of um, a nature following it and as you can see uh, fighting an enemy here uh, it f fires out rainbow type uh, uh, bolts which I, I kind of thought was cool, you know, I'm a bit of a staff Ellie and um, Bifrost for me is actually the best staff looking staff in the game and that's why I actually chose that legendary there are a few others I'm not too sure which one I should go for, but um, yeah, I, I quite like the look of Bifrost. And I'm going to talk about in this video just the all the other legendaries that are available at the moment. So, this is the Bifrost, and as you can see, for me, it's a very, very beautiful design. All these animations that go with the legendary weapon are all very intricate and uh, very well artistically created. So... As I said, we're going to look at uh, on the trading post. Uh, I'm just going to do it through the previews. So unfortunately, you won't be able to see any of the footprints um, or the the bolts that fire out uh, from each legend legendary. We load up the trading post here, and we just look for the legendaries. So. Um, Let's decide. Let's have a look. What's the most valuable one? Eternity, which is the combination of uh, Twilight um, and Sunrise. And as you can see, it's got a, a very nice uh, effect. Um, when you swing the sword, uh, it actually does sort of give a sort of a delayed uh, particle effect. And you've got a bit of sparkles from the, the handle of the sword as well. Um, it, the combination of the two make it the most expensive item in the game. And I mean, it is a very beautiful sword. It's uh, sunrise during daytime and twilight at nighttime, so it changes uh, depending on what daytime it is. Um, so, if we start actually at the bottom, uh, this is Frenzy, uh, which is uh, one of the uh, underwater legendaries. They don't get the credit they deserve. I'm, I actually believe that some of the underwater legendaries are quite beautiful indeed, very well designed. Uh, unfortunately, you don't really spend much of your time underwater, and very rarely do you are you in a sort of a zerg type environment underwater that you would give the opportunity to show this off to other people. But yeah, I mean, for me, this weapon. I mean, if you look at the animation here, very very beautiful, sort of very intricate. All the little fish swimming around it. Um, it again, these it is actually the cheapest legendary in the game. Uh, that that's just a. Uh, image of it there um, yeah so that is the legendary frenzy we go uh, that was that was the harpoon gun uh, legendary this next one is the trident the Krakin or Krakin um, very interesting animation they've got to do with the serpents obviously to do with the I'm imagining it's to do with the crate uh, being the Krakin um, and again look you've got all the little sort of snake type serpents swimming around it oh, a nice elegant design for me but again, something you will very rarely use unless you go underwater. And it's there are very few environments at the moment where perhaps uh, if later when they develop an underwater dragon, maybe another one, uh, the moot. This is the uh, the focus. The again the offhand. Um, I believe this is the focus. Uh, is it the focus? Yeah. Um, Lovely effects. I mean, it's one of the more unique uh, little disco ball and creating a sort of a disco atmosphere going on. Um, and there is a, a, a sound. I mean, look at this. It's very, very cleverly done. I mean, a be beautiful, very elegant uh, weapon, to be honest. Um, sorry, this is the mace. <laughs> Focus. This is the mace, uh, the moot. 
So um, that was the moot, and this is just an ex. Uh, this is on the wiki page. This is exactly what your legendary, what it takes to craft the, the main part, of the legendary, um, and it is quite a substantial amount. This is all on the wiki, you can see. Um, we go back to the, le the legendaries. Let's look at Rodgort. This is the torch. Obviously, this relates to Rodgort, uh, some of the weapon uh, skills in Guild Wars One, and this is a really cool torch effect. I mean, if you see, um, you know, when it's uh, stowed, it's actually got a really, you know, it's, it's in its sort of it staffed, you know, held environment. But look at the animation there on the, the mouth moving. Really, really intricate stuff. Um, really nicely done. Uh, we go on to the Howler. This is the Warhorn. Uh, what you don't get from this is that you actually get a sort of a, I think it's this one that gets a sort of a sound effect as you walk along with it because there is no major animation to this weapon um, but as you walk run along uh, with it you know um, equipped it does come sort of a howling noise so these are you know they're all very beautiful uh, legendaries um, the minstrel is the focus um, and it sort of does have a little musical effect um, when you're out there but it, yeah I mean this is a nice sort of effect you know as you're playing in game um, you have little musical tunes flying off you, you know, coming up off you. Uh, if that's what you want from a, a weapon and to show that off, by all means. It, it might go well with the moot, you know. A um, little bit of uh, disco and music. Uh, but the, yeah, so there are some weapons that are very interesting and very elegant and some that are just uh, legendaries that are quite just unique. I mean, this for me, um, very difficult to pronounce, but wow, what a weapon. I mean, look at that. That is really, really beautifully designed. It's got a sort of a, a harpoon and a, a shark combined. Um, then you've got kudzu. This is one of the more the famous uh, bows that's used. It uh, does have a very interesting um, footprint effect, uh, and it, it is a very elegant design. I mean, you've got a sort of a lady there that holding on to sort of the main bit of the bow. Very beautiful design for that one. Um, so we go to the shield, the flame secret prophecies, personally one of my favourite uh, legendaries, stowed, nothing special, but then when you wield it, wow, I mean that is cool, that is a really nice effect, really beautiful animation, I wish a, more, a few more pages would turn over, but um, yeah, the flame secret prophecy shield, really really nice, it's very tempting for me to go for that one for my next legendary, but you've got the dreamer, not very much animation on it, however, again, it's a sound effect, when you fire the the, the, uh, the bow, it actually, you get unicorns fire out of it, very unique bow, um, but you see a lot of le legendaries with that one, the Predator, this is a really cool rifle, um, it has a very unique sound, and uh, that's, you know, you can, it's unmistakable, uh, um, when you hear this weapon go off, you know it's the Predator, and it has a really cool animation. I mean, look at the, eff the the effects going on there. I mean, that's in a that's just in one weapon. Really, really beautiful design and a very, very nice legendary to have. Quip. I actually got this precursor for Quip and decided not to go for it because Quip sounds to me really, really awful. It does this stupid brown brown sound and it's a bit of a comical joke. Uh, you know, legendary. Meteorologicus, um, if you can pronounce it correctly, this for me is one of the most beautiful legendaries in the game. A real elegance, I mean it, it changes during day and night time, I mean look at the spheres, the globes uh, turn and round in that, really really wonderful design to come, and the artwork on that, it must have been amazing to come up with that um, scepter for that. So that's one that I think I might go for. Frost Fang. And the axe, another nice bit of animation on this. Uh, th again, these are all, if you're interested in get acquiring a legendary, which one do you go for? Um, this is just to show you what the particular uh, special effects are there. They, they do have the same uh, uh, stats as ascended weapons. So this is Twilight. Again, I showed you earlier the, the, the combination. Um, so I actually prefer Twilight to Sunrise. Personally, I like the Black, the black Greatsword. Um, and this is one of the more elegant uh, uh, legendaries in game. Um, as you see, there's two great swords. This is Sunrise. You've probably already seen it before. Um, and when you're trying, if you're going for your legendary, uh, the the precursor, 
you've got twice as much chance as getting a great sword because obviously there are two great swords, uh, two great sword precursors. So this is the dagger. Uh, incinerator, really cool uh, footsteps. They've got a flame footstep as you're going along, and it, this looks a really cool dagger to me. Imagine killing with someone with this uh, in game. I mean, look at the little f the, in the furnace going on in there. Really, really nicely designed weapon that one. Um, you've obviously seen the Bifrost. This is my one, um, and then you have one of the more popular ones in the game, uh, Bolt, which is the sword. I've even seen a warrior with two bolts. I mean, that was insane. Uh, again, you don't actually see the particle effect you get with this, so you don't see the whole thing, but wow, what an elegant design that is. Uh, really, the, the effects on that is fantastic. Uh, the Juggernaut, that this again, you, you don't get the full particle effects uh, where you actually turn slightly silvery, um, part of you do, it does anyway. Um, but a very nice and wonderfully elegant uh, design of a hammer. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like the Atlas holding up the world. Again, that was something that I was tempted to go for. But yeah, this is just a quick summary of all the legendaries. You can see the prices there are in there. Um, there are no ascending weapons on the tr trading post. There are rare weapons, that, uh, sorry, exotic weapons that you can go for that have amazing uh, visuals as well. Um, they are, they do tend to be the most expensive in the game. Infinite light, um, and obviously all the precursors there. But yeah, I, I do recommend rolling, uh, I got my precursor, I sold uh, Quip, and then I rolled and I managed to get uh, Dusk, which I then sold, and uh, with a little bit more money, was able to buy the Legend to get my, which was my precursor for Bifrost. So, these, this is just a look, quick look at all the weapons that you can get. Obviously, this is going to take effect with the, um, uh, now you have uh, the wardrobe coming into the game, and you can equip this skin to any of your uh, any of your other weapons so if you have infinite light you can have that as a skin for any of your other characters uh, as a sword on you know if you have the legend for example my bifrost and my uh, elementalist i can have my bifrost on my um, guardian on my um, uh, on my mesmer it may, I, could, I don't have to move i can move the weapon around because it's now account bound but I could also have the skin, so I could use it as a, you know, in, with maybe not um, legendary um, effects. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, um, if you are choosing your weapon skins, just to have a quick look at this and see what it takes to do. But um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching uh, this short little video on the weapons that are available in game. And I'm sure some of these prices are going to fluctuate wildly when the uh, wardrobe comes into effect. But thanks very much. If you've got any comments on what weapons you prefer, what, what are your favourite designs, uh, let me know. And if there's anything you prefer from like Guild Wars 1, uh, please post it in the comment section. Thanks very much.